Lady Gaga's Alejandro video caused quite a stir with the blasphemous nature of its imagery. Many people are, however, still wondering. What is the meaning of the song, and what message is the video trying to convey? This video examines the occult symbols used in Alejandro in order to understand its underlying message. So, by a show of hands, who envisioned gay soldiers being raped by Lady Gaga while first listening to Alejandro? Okay, counting, one person. One sick disturbed person. But seriously, art doesn't have to be literal, and Lady Gaga's latest video surely isn't. As was the case with Bad Romance and Telephone, the video for Alejandro adds another layer of interpretation to the song by giving the words a deeper meaning. Taking place in a cold Orwellian, militaristic setting, the visuals of the video sharply contrast with the summary Latin beat of the song. Other opposing concepts collide and blend in the video as well. Good versus evil, male versus female and domination versus submission. The religious symbolism, in addition to adding the shock factor necessary to get people talking, gives the song a definite spiritual connotation. The video for Alejandro is very symbolic and leaves it open for multiple interpretations. For instance, I've read an interpretation of the video claiming that it portrays the Catholic Church's repression of the gay community. This interpretation might have some validity to it, but it ignores many important aspects of the video. Other observers seem to believe that all videos with religious imagery are tributes to Madonna. Yes, Madonna did like a prayer, but this doesn't explain anything in Gaga's video. In addition to a possible tribute, the symbolism of the video tells a story of spiritual rejection and metamorphosis taking place in the context of an oppressive police state. The video was directed by Stephen Klein, a well-established photographer in the fashion industry. He has worked with Calvin Klein, Alexander McQueen, Madonna, Nike and many others. His photographic style often exploits the theme of homoeroticism, and he obviously carried that theme into this video format. We will attempt to decode the symbolism of the video and how it relates in today's context. Before I continue the video, please give a like if you've learned something. And, don't forget to subscribe, and also, click the notification bell too, so you won't miss any update. And, watch to the end to avoid misunderstanding. Thank you. The most prevalent theme in the song is rejection. The introduction of the song establishes this concept right away. I know that we are young. And I know you may love me. But I just can't be with you like this anymore, Alejandro. The video starts with a funeral procession. Gaga wears a black veil and holds the sacred heart, the bleeding heart of God for humanity. Something is dead inside of Gaga and it seems to be her love for Alejandro. Is there a syringe in the sacred heart? But who is Alejandro? A gay guy she cannot be with. A man she is cheating on, with Roberto and Fernando. All possibilities, the song is not quite clear about that. The imagery of the video, however, tells the viewers that Alejandro might stand for something deeper. In a later scene, Gaga is shown laying down, wearing a red latex nun suit, and holding a rosary. Praying. Looking at the sky, she says. Stop, please, just let me go. Then, just when she says Alejandro, she raises her hands to the sky. In this context, it is safe to say that Alejandra might very well be God. She hides true love. And Subalcillo. She's got a halo round her finger, around you. The halo round the finger is a wedding ring, and Alejandro has a halo round him, which signifies he is considered holy. The wedding ring represents Gaga's union with God through religion, but she is now ashamed of this marriage. She hides the ring in her bolsillo, the Spanish word for pocket. Why does she refer to a Fernando and a Roberto at some point? Is she referring to the triple aspect of God, the Holy Trinity? The concept of rejection is thus applied to God, as he does not seem to satisfy Gaga's spiritual needs. She then decides to seek Godhood herself, by embracing a new type of spirituality. It seems to me, the nun becomes a Luciferian priestess. This screenshot shows Luciferian priestess, hiding one eye, as a sign of Illuminati control, her loyalty. Gaga's robe contains many inverted crosses. This is extremely significant in symbolic language. The cross is a symbol of the Christian faith as it represents Jesus Christ's sacrifice and resurrection. In Christianity, the inverted cross is known as the Cross of Saint Peter, in honor of Simon Peter, who requested to be crucified upside down because he felt unworthy to be put to death in the same matter as Christ. In non-Christian circles, however, the inversion of the cross represents the perversion and desecration of what it symbolizes. For this reason, inverted symbols are found in black magic and Satanism. In symbolism, an inverted figure always signifies a perverted power. 
Black magic is not a fundamental art, it is the misuse of an art. Therefore it has no symbols of its own. It merely takes the emblematic figures of white magic, and by inverting and reversing them, signifies that it is left-handed. This is inverted cross and inverted pentagram as satanic symbols. The inverted cross, placed on Gaga's crotch, becomes a phallic symbol. Superimposed, and combined with her female genitals, the theme of androgyny becomes prevalent. In occult circles, the alchemical transformation of the spiritual matter, the great work, must unite both opposing energies. The rosary is a set of beads used in Catholic tradition for prayer and meditation. By swallowing the rosary, Gaga incorporates within her a symbol of religious devotion because 1. It is shocking and would get media attention. 2. Represents Gaga seeking to obtain godhood by her own means. We have here a symbolic representation of the tenets of Luciferianism, which is the drive to attain divinity by one own means. Lucifer is considered to be the active principle towards godhood, the one who brought divine light to the humans. In another scene, Gaga is shown giving the sign of benediction and blessing, a gesture reserved in Catholicism, to those who are considered holy. This is a classic image of Christ, showing the sign of benediction, and pointing towards the Sacred Heart. Later in the video, Gaga is violently pushed around, and abused by the dancers surrounding her. She surrenders and removes her robe for sexual, ritual initiation. At the ending of the video, Gaga is consumed from within, and her inner light comes out, representing her transformation from the physical to the spiritual plane. Gaga's performance at American Idol truly exploited the Luciferian theme of the song. The performance takes place in a setting reminiscent to the Garden of Eden, where the fallen angel, Lucifer, the one who was banished from heaven and tempted Adam and Eve with divine knowledge, presides over the ceremony. Fire comes out of the angel's wings, each time Gaga says Alejandro. At the end of the performance, Gaga is lifted up under the fallen angel, as a blood-red liquid oozes out from the fountain underneath him. Another ritual sacrifice has taken place on primetime television. Gaga's spiritual transformation is taking place in a dark, oppressive and militaristic backdrop. This trend in music videos has been discussed in previous video in this channel. The video describes how the public is currently being bombarded with militaristic and oppressive imagery, intertwined with sexuality, in order to desensitize the public and create a subconscious positive association. Alejandro is clearly a continuation of this agenda, set by the rest of the industry. During the entire video, we see in the background a giant screen displaying scenes of social unrest, buildings on fire, and military police running around, placing the viewers in a tense and oppressive ambience. The video opens with men marching to a militaristic rhythm, some of them having their heads covered, maybe hinting that those men are prisoners of some sort. One of the men is inside a pyramidal shape, while another holds a hexagram as the prisoners march. Is this a representation of the masses marching to the rhythm of the elite, holding up high the symbols of its own oppression? Gaga is then shown in a position of power, wearing a black illuminated crown, while looking over the prisoners performing for her. The Black Queen removes one goggle at a time, flashing the Illuminati all-seeing eye sign, and revealing the true nature of her power. Again, one eye hinting at the nature of the oppressive force. In this scene, Gaga wears a gun bra, in accordance with the agenda of the sexualization of oppressive imagery. Her backup dancers are dressed in uniforms, reminiscent of dictatorships of the era of Hitler, Stalin, Franco, and Mussolini. Political oppression is indeed sexy. Oh wait, no, it's not, it actually goes against everything America supposedly stands for. In a symbolic scene, a soldier is shown attached to strings, like a marionette. He is not in control of his own movements, and holds a gun on his privates, more sexualization of weaponry. He stares blankly, looking confused, as a mind control slave would. In what looks like an internment camp, Gaga has the gay men, bound to a bed as she rapes them, in what looks like a reenactment of ritual abuse. In the final scene of the video, Gaga is shown attached to strings. Is she herself controlled into perpetuating this agenda? As just stated, the video to Alejandro is very complex and symbolic, and lends itself to multiple interpretations, depending on the viewer's knowledge and point of view. There are, however, parts of the video in which the symbolism is clear and concise, leaving little doubt regarding the message being communicated. During the video, Gaga goes through a very profound metamorphosis, rejecting Christian faith by desecrating its symbols and embracing a new type of spirituality. 
Is Gaga's transformation a representation of the transformation that is currently happening on a worldwide scale? Are members of the elite, who were thought to be part of regular religions, revealing their true Luciferian selves to the public? Will the new world order leave traditional religions in the dust to embrace a new type of spirituality? Whatever the case may be, pivotal videos such as this one disseminate into the collective unconscious a specific set of symbols and values that will become, in time, part of our culture. In order to achieve this, charismatic figures that are admired by the public are used, make those messages cool and trendy. Music fans have been subjected to an intense creative drought in the past years, which caused them to be desperate for a new, eccentric and iconic presence. So Lady Gaga comes into the picture, slightly distances herself from the painfully formulaic music acts, and is heralded as the new pop princess. She also brings with her all of the Illuminati agenda, and flashes in her fans, faces the symbols of their own oppression. I'm sure, many fans have a gut feeling that something is wrong with her act, but still can't stop listening to her. They must tell themselves, well, there is nothing else to listen to. And that's what media monopolies are all about. Comment below with more topic ideas for me to discuss. As a lot of care and hard work goes into this, likes and subscribe, let me know I'm doing a good job. All is appreciated greatly. You may not agree with everything from the content I post. Apply critical thinking and use discernment to come to your own conclusions regarding the content. Thanks for watching this video. This everything inside me channel, see you on the next video. Stay safe and healthy.